Hey guys, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how you can apply a background picture uh, to your screen. So if you haven't watched my first video about FDL and how you can set up a screen, uh, then go watch it if you don't know. Because this tutorial will, um, will be all about the picture and I won't go, go through the basics that much. So, um, I've already set up my SDL, so I'm just going to start coding. Uh, first off, I'm going to include my SDL the page. Um, I'm going to write... Well, first, let, let's just start off by writing the main function. Uh, int rgc, char rgv, hit close, and... I always touch like this and turn zero. Uh, when you make two backslashes, backslashes like this, and uh, that's a comment, so that's a line that uh, the code won't read or the program won't read. So we can just write anything here, like in it. We can make comments on our code, so uh, we can understand it better later. So. I'm just going to write some comment here. So first, STL init and the parameter init video. That's the only thing we need. Then we have the load things, and I'm going to have a screen, and I'm going to set the video mode of the screen to B640, 480, 32 STL SV surface. Okay. And I'm going to load in a background picture that I've created. And I'm going to use STL load BMP because it's going to be a BMP picture. And if you got a picture in another format, you need the STL underscore image at DLL uh, plugin. So I'm just going to write the name here background of BMP. Uh, I've saved the background of BMP in the same folder as my project file, so. Okay, so now there's two things we need to do, and the first thing is to apply the background to the screen, and the second thing is we need to update the screen so we check if uh, we have applied anything to it. Okay, but first let us just write the boolean to check if a game is running, and you can set it to true when we start this program and the game is going to be running so yeah I'm going to write a while, a while loop so I'm going to write while game running is equal to true um, and if we find an event call event uh, we need to make our event thing here as well so I'm just going to write a still on screen event event okay and if that event uh, event type uh, is equal to STL underscore quit, uh, the game loop game running loop will be set to false. Okay. Okay. So can make a comment here. Write game loop. Um. Now I'm just going to write a function uh, to apply surfaces, so so I can apply the background surface to the screen. And I always use this. You write function with void, and then the name of the function. I'm just going to call it apply surface because that's what it does. Does so yeah. We'll we'll have two integers, uh, integer x and integer y, and we will use two surfaces. And first off is the source. And the second one is the destination. And then we need a rectangle uh, so we know where our background should start uh, on, uh, on the screen. And just write the blit surface. And first, we're going to blit the source. And we will not have a rectangle for a source but we will have it for the destination so we just add a pointer to the rectangle we made 
up here and now we just need to apply this um, in our game running loop ok so I'm just going to write apply surface surface and the name of the surface or no first we start with X and Y where the background should start on the screen and we want it to start at the top of the screen um, the source uh, is going to be the background and destination is going to be the screen then we need to update update the screen and we do this by writing SDL on the flip and then the surface we want to update yeah something like that um, oh yeah we need to make our two surfaces up here the screen and all of a sudden to null and of course the background set it to null ok so I'm trying to build it and it was successful so now we need one more thing or one last thing and that's the DLL file so just going to go in here stl lib stl.dll copy it and go to our projects okay, go here debug paste it in there and we should be able to start this up so yeah there you have it uh, we can change the name here just like we did in the first tutorial uh, just simply by writing stl vm underscore vm set caption um, apply image to screen or whatever you want Okay, so there you go. That's the second tutorial. So, yeah.